What's up, ladies and gentlemen? If you hadn't seen it before, this is my little Cinewhoop. It's the frame is a Cineboy. It's kind of like the Taycan. The ducks are custom 3D printed um, because the other ones were made of really hard plastic, and I didn't like them. Anyway, this thing's always kind of flown a little rough. The motors have always gotten really hot. And I decided to try Betaflight 4.3 on here. So we installed Betaflight 4.3. I put RPM filters. I don't think it did much with the tuning. We're going to see how it runs and try and tweak it a little bit, see if it's any better. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. It's a little bit windy, but um, I think we'll be okay. We're just going to sit it down, ride it around, see how hot the motors get. I'm hoping they won't get too hot. Hoping it flies better. We'll see. A little jittery. I'm right, gonna check the motors real quick. All right, let's check those motors. Considering that little bit of flying I did, they're warm. But they're not smoking hot. Yeah, I think we're okay. We're gonna fly it a little bit more. Actually flying pretty good. That motor's hot. Yeah, they're still getting a little hot. And what's worse is my screws are getting hot. Usually that means there's a short, but I haven't been able to find it. The screws underneath are pretty warm. We're gonna take it in, see if we can find any shorts. I've looked, but didn't see any. We're gonna check again. Those screws are smoking hot. I looked over the motors. I can't see it touching the coils or anything like that. I have no idea why those screws are getting hot. There's got to be a short somewhere, but um, I can't find it. So um, for this moment, I'm just going to look at my tuning and see what we got. I don't believe I did anything. I didn't. I didn't do any. Um, I did load the preset for RPM filters, which was this one right here. Hold on, I'll show you. I did this one right here, the normal build with RPM filtering. And we'll look at the CLI for that. That's the only thing I applied. That and of course I set up my modes and my rates and stuff. If you see anything in there that looks weird for a uh, Cinewhoop, let me know. Um, I know that's you can't really see, but let me go. Let me just go into the um, tuning and look at the actual filters here, filter settings. I did. Wait, did I use that? It looks like default. Oh yeah, bidirectional D shot is on. Um, let me look at these presets here very noisy build. I'm wondering if I should go with one of these just because I've got, actually maybe we will. Um, requires RPM filtering, ensure D-shot telemetry is working properly. It is, I checked all that. Too much filtering may cause wobbling. Intended for worn, beaten up, or larger, 10 inch or above. Jeez, this is definitely not a 10 inch. Um, um, you know, I saw some tune settings from, what's his face, but they were very aggressive. Let's look at the tunes for UAV tech. Um, he's got a actual Cinewhoop right here, but I actually installed this on there and it was super, super aggressive. But you know what? I'm going to try it again. Because last time I tried it, I had forgot to fix my motor orders and it wasn't working great. I've got 48k ESCs. We'll do RPM filtering. I don't think I'm using dynamic idle. Maybe I should though, but I don't think I am. Um, let's pick that. Let's warning prior to RPM. Alright, I already know all that's good, so we'll agree. We'll save and reboot and um we'll set this up and it's aggressive like 
even logging in and looking at your tune settings, it tells you, hey, this is aggressive. <laughs> you get the warning, cur current slider positions may cause motor damage or unsafe craft behavior. Please proceed with caution. But you know what? Um, the eye is so high. The pids are so high. I'm already getting super hot motors. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but we're going to do it anyway, because why not? Let's burn some shit up. Um, we're going to take it outside and um, just fly it around one time, one little lap around the little driveway, bring it back, check my motors. I've got a feeling this is going to be way, way too much, but um, we'll see what happens. So, yeah, I'll see you in just a second. All right, to date, I've never had a flyaway. Let's hope this isn't the first. Here we go. Like, I don't even know if it flies away, if it's if I can disarm it, or if it just keeps going. I have no idea. We're just going to fly it around the driveway a little bit and then bring it right back in check motors. Uh, did it take away my modes? Oh, I got to turn my radio on. <laughs> thought I did. Oh, see, I know that's preset. The last time I did it, it didn't disable oh, my yeah. modes. That was the right switch. Beepa. There we Activated. go. Mm. You turn me on. Feels good. Check those motors. This Feels pretty good. Not too hot. They actually feel pretty good. They don't feel bad at all. Um, I'm gonna let it go a little bit. You turn me on. The tune feels really good. It's smooth. The battery's running a little low, so let's bring it in. Check it out. All right, how the motors? The motors have never been this cool after flying that long. I was actually surprised. They're a little warm. They're a little warm, but they're not bad. And the screws, that feels pretty good. I think I'm going to leave it. Let's put another battery on and fly it a little bit more. All right, we've got a fresh pack ready to roll. And we're just going to give it a little little run. See how she does. I'm going to set it on my porch. There we go. It really kind of sucks not having my battery in my OSD, but that's okay. I know this thing don't last very long. As far as the tune goes, it feels really good. Seconds. Now we're gonna bring it in. Let's see how she looks. Let's check those motor temps. Wow. They're pretty good. 
they're usually smoking hot. That one motor right there is pretty warm. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. all right, we're going to run one more and we're going to throw some, um, put it in a, some real steady go, make it look nice. All right, this time we're going to slow it down, do a little cinematic style, put it to the ultimate test because that's how I'll be using this thing for cinematic. And we'll throw it on some real steady go. Check it out. I'm just going to fly over in the tall grass and just see what I can do. So far I'm pretty happy with it. It's flying much better than it was. The motors are even staying cooler than they were. Previously I just had default 4.2 settings on it and now it seems to be doing better. I was always afraid to put it more, any more aggressive than what it was on default because I was afraid that would make the motors hotter but this seems to be a pretty aggressive tune and um, they are not hotter so who'd have thunk it? Alright, cue the music, cue the cinematic strips. Let's get it. motors a little warm a little toasty but not too bad this one motor over here my right front motor gets a lot hotter than the rest but otherwise it's not too bad well ladies and gentlemen that is going to wrap it up i think um i'm pretty satisfied with that that's 4.3 with rpm filters on my center whoop and it's flying better the motors are cooler still not cool i would say but definitely cooler so yeah appreciate you watching hit the like button subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video cap is out peace